Hello dear watchers, and welcome to my house. I am Tanguistel, and I am bringing you my very first episode of my political series, No Man's Land. And I've titled this episode, as you might have noticed already, The Blame Game, Communist vs. Gamer. And I will explain that title, but first I want to offer my condolences. Um, if you're not aware of this, or if you're watching this video years and years after the fact, January 6, 2020, a peaceful protest of pro-Trump supporters marched on the Capitol building in Washington, D.C., and a portion of them turned into violent rioters. The, the business in the building was stopped and people were not evacuated. Some of the reports reported them as evacuated. They weren't. They were still in the building and they were barricaded in offices and whatever locations they could find that they could secure against the rioters. There were people who were armed. I did see live footage of this yesterday as of the making of this video, and I could hear gunshots being fired off in the rotunda, and it was a little bit terrifying for me just watching it. I can't imagine how terrifying it was for the people living through it. And it was also very surreal, because the the news feeds that I was watching, the live feeds I was watching, were cutting back and forth between different cameras. And some of the cameras were outside, out front, and it looked quite peaceful. There were people just standing there on the front steps of the Capitol building, waving their flags and their signs, or shouting into megaphones. And I bring this up because, very distinctively, on one of these shots, I could hear a woman on a megaphone. I couldn't see her, but I could hear her very distinctly, shouting at the, the media, the press, what lies are you telling? Um, are you going to lie about the violence that isn't happening? And while she was saying this, someone was in the rotunda firing off shots. I, I don't think she realized that. I don't think a lot of people there realized how violent it got in places they couldn't see. For the people who survived that, this was undoubtedly a traumatizing event. And I could spend an hour going over all the little things, but I'm not. I'm making this video for one particular post I saw. And I saw this post. I saw this post in the midst of it, before the National Guard had even arrived on the scene, someone had posted this. <sighs> and I've turned my camera off instead of my image. Sorry. Okay, so this is the post. Tell me again that it was Trump supporters who broke into the People's House today. Nope, not buying it. And then under that is another post. The man in yellow has a communist hammer and sickle tattoo on his hand. Those are not Trump supporters. And you scroll down and you see the tattoo is circled. And then you see um, these two guys up here on the 
it's the left hand side for me. I don't know if it's going to be the left hand side in the video recording. But the guy in yellow and the man behind him in a mask are, their heads are circled and they're linked to these other photos and the, the Viking fella up here in the front is also supposedly linked to, uh, I think they're saying they're Antifa. Yeah, there's one that says Antifa right there. So, in the midst of this happening, with no information available, someone has already jumped to the conclusion that their side could not possibly deteriorate to this level of violence. That these people must be from the opposite side, posing as their side, as Trump supporters, in order to make Trump supporters look bad. This is where we go to, I think it was rule three, Occam's razor. I meant to pull up the rules so I could have them to reference, but I didn't. And even though I just made that video, I don't remember exactly what order I did everything in. But Occam's razor, we'll come back to that. So I stared at this image for a good probably two minutes, three minutes going, that kind of looks like a sickle and hammer, but it doesn't look quite right. It kind of looks like it, but it doesn't look quite right. I just did this over and over trying to figure out why this did not look right to me. And then a friend of mine said, isn't that the symbol for Dishonored? And I looked up the symbol because I don't play Dishonored, and holy fucking shit, he's right. Sorry for the language there. This is, I'm trying to abide by my own rules and remain very calm and respectful. But, so this is a, a bigger image. Well zoomed in image. I'm zooming it in as much as I possibly can so you guys can hopefully see this, what I'm going to talk about here. And I'm just going to leave that there for a minute and you can take a screenshot to look at it while you continue watching or you can rewind the video, uh, whatever suits you. But that is the tattoo on his hand. Now, this is probably a very familiar symbol. It's the sickle and hammer that is used by people who support communism or communist party or communist ideologies. And there are some distinctive similarities. There's the, the little handle looking bit in the upper right hand quadrant. There's the the handle of the hammer sticking off into the upper left hand quadrant. And then there's the, the big center bit that does look like a hammer's head, except there's something coming off of the hammer's head. And you could say that's a shadow, you could say that's an artifact, but if you look to the left of the hammer's head, or right, I hope it's the left. This is probably gonna be so confusing for some people. If you look to the left, you'll see there's two distinct lines that just does not make sense. It does not look right for the sickle and hammer. And that's because it's not a sickle and hammer. It's the Dishonored logo. And I would wager fair money that this guy is a big fan of Dishonored and he got the logo tattooed on his hand. And someone honestly mistook it for the communist sickle and hammer. And that's okay. It's okay to make a mistake. But you need to acknowledge when you make those mistakes. So <clears throat> the reason I say it is the dishonored symbol, um, down here in, I've rotated this image, so they, they're all rotated to reflect the angle that we see his tattoo at. 
there are those two distinctive lines in the lower left hand corner as I mentioned already and then you see this kind of bolt shape kind of thing I really don't know what to call it and that's coming off of the circle and I think the circle is what's being mistaken for the hammer's head and why it doesn't look quite right because it's got something coming off of it <clears throat> sorry I keep looking at the monitor as I'm talking instead of at you uh, but okay so that 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 is that part of the post the other part of the post where they are supposedly showing pictures of these men at Antifa rallies, at Black Lives Matter rallies, well, rally, singular, not plural, um, that just annoyed me so much out of hand. It makes some people look alike. Some people look a lot alike. And I actually found a website called twinstrangers.net. I'll put a link in the description where you can submit a photo of yourself uh, straight on facing the camera. No, you know, cute little head tilts or uh, none, of that, none of that. Just straight on looking at the camera. You can submit a photo and you can find people who look like you. So I have a challenge for you. I have a challenge for you with this video. Let me make this small again. My challenge for you is, I'm gonna show you a photo of me that I took, and, and this is the photo I used. There I am. I smiled because everybody else was smiling in all of their photos, so I figured that would improve my odds of finding someone who looked like me. And that's me, okay? You guys know that's me. Now I'm going to cycle through a series of photos, and I'm just going to leave them up for a few seconds. And one of them is also going to be me. And the rest are going to be twins I pulled from the website. And I want you to see if you can pick out that one. So here's the first one. She's so happy. It's actually a rude gesture in some countries, I think. But here's another one. I'm not sure what she's doing. She looks like she's trying to be seductive. Um, there's another one. Very simple, like I was saying. Face your camera. Look straight ahead. Have good lighting. And, and just take your picture if you want to try this yourself. Uh, this, this one, she's laying down. She's got that long hair, which you guys know from other videos I've got long hair. My hair is actually up right now. I put it up because I felt like, you know, I'm making this video right after I make my rules video. Let's at least try and pretend like I'm looking a little different. I'm actually getting cold because I don't have my pink hoodie on. Um... Uh, there's this lady, and I cut her cat as much out of the picture as I could. And there is this lady. I'll give you a freebie. This one's not me. Um, but she does look an awful lot like me. And now, the, now this is the other thing I want you to consider. These images that I've shown you are very close. You can see everything very clearly. The images in that post, these guys are very distant. We'll zoom in on them, we'll zoom in. Look how blurry that gets on those two guys right there. On that guy right there. 
And look at these guys down here. Do they look alike? Yeah, sure. They look alike. They look a lot alike. Are they the same person? I seriously doubt it. And why do I doubt it? Because Occam's razor. It makes more sense that there are fringe elements in the Trump supporter group who are willing to be violent than it does that there are fringe elements in the liberal, in Antifa, who are willing to go to the trouble of masquerading as Trump protesters in order to make Trump protesters look bad. And I'm going to leave you with one final thought here. <laughs> I'm going to leave you with one final thought as soon as I figure out how to phrase it. Every group in the planet has a radical element. Every group I have ever looked at, ever studied, ever invented for a story has a radical element. A certain minority percentage that are willing to do drastic and terrible things in order to try and get their way. And I find it much more reasonable to believe that these men are part of that element for the pro-Trump side, for the pro-Trump tribe, we'll call them, than that they are part of the Antifa tribe and masquerading. So, you are welcome to disagree in the comments, but... Make sure you read the rules, and make sure you abide by the rules. I'm not going to ask for likes or subs or anything beyond that, because I just want to say one more time, I just want to offer my condolences one more time to all of the people who were injured, and to the friends and family of those people, and to the friends and family of the people who died during this absolute, <sighs> trying, trying very hard not to use emotional words, but I can't think of any, so I'm going to stop here. And I hope you will think about what I've said. And as more images like these come out in the days to come, I hope you will consider them with a critical eye, regardless of your position. Thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves out there. Be kind to others.